I hand you over to Anchi Shock in the Kinney. Thanks. <laughs> County Council, Chairman of Westport Town Council, uh, Christy, Minister of State, uh, Michael Ring, Governor Caleri, Councillors, ladies and gentlemen. At a time of uh, some uh, economic confusion and disillusionment, it's great to come to a place in your own county where uh, there's an expansion taking place. And I really am thrilled to be here in Carrick Dunn for the announcement of uh, 150 extra jobs. Um, both here and around the country. And it's testament to the commitment of uh, Corrie Dunn that they've decided to expand their range by opening uh, five new shops in different locations around the country at a time when the indigenous retail sector uh, has been quite flat uh, because of lack of investment, because of concern about the Euro, the Eurozone, uh, and as a consequence, uh, and as a consequence, um, very little movement. That's why from from the perspective of government, we've set the ceilings for the next number of years. Uh, we've made the decision in respect of no increase in income tax, which means that people can plan their lives a little better. Uh, and arising from last Friday's marathon meeting in, uh, in Brussels, uh, there's now political agreement uh, on the issues that need to be dealt with here. Over the next number of months, that's going to be teased out both in terms of its legality and constitutional impact. Uh, and at the end of March, uh, individual countries will decide uh, how to give effect to that substance that has been uh, put into the um, political agreement. Suffice it to say uh, that this is of uh, very considerable importance to every citizen in this country where unemployment and job creation is the really big challenge uh, for the government uh, given, the, uh, given the flatness of the indigenous economy. And the single market and its potential uh, offers further massive scope for Ireland here in a range of sectors. Um, and from that point of view, uh, Carrick Dunn have a proven record, uh, both in terms of creativity, in terms of their design, scale and scope, uh, at the quality of their product and their ability to sell and communicate. Uh, I know Carrick Dunn for very many years. In fact, I knew, uh, God rest him, uh, Parik uh, for so, and so many years, and, and his late mother, uh, Moira, for their, um, when they set up Carrick Dunn over 40 years ago. In fact, Pat himself was the first employee. It is testament, it is testament uh, to the family, the commitment that this has, uh, has not only maintained itself, but has grown and prospered. And it's a pleasure, actually, to go into different shopping centres in different parts of the country and see the Carrick Dunn brand there, because it has gained credence in terms of its quality and standard. And that's the only thing that matters to the consumer. <coughs> is what I am buying competitive? Is what I am buying a garment that's going to stand the test for whatever I want to use it for in terms of its style, convenience, quality or whatever. And I'm thrilled also that uh, having had some, some uh, discourse with uh, Carrick Dunn quite a number of years ago, that they have broken into the QVC um, system in the United States, which is of such importance as the approach into the Patrick's Week <coughs> celebrations, but also in respect of the National Geographic, uh, National Geographic uh, people with, with worldwide and global reach. And when you, when you think that Carrick Dunn our products are on sale in Japan and across the States and all over Europe. This is an example of a, a small Irish company actually putting its money where its mouth is in believing in its own conviction that it's got the capacity to do the job. Um, I'm not going to go through the history of the, uh, of the plant here except to say that uh, I, I actually admire people who are prepared to say at a time of uh, economic downturn and um, um, difficulty internationally and, and here at home to say Let's look at what we're doing here, and let's look at the opportunities for expansion in a time of crisis for many others. And when you consider that Carrick Dunn have now opened in Galway and Dungarvan and Maynooth and Dunlera, and where's the other one? Um, <coughs> Newbridge. Newbridge, yeah. Carlo. This uh, it speaks for itself in, in, in the context of the company's commitment uh, to quality and so on. So over the next 12 months, Obviously, the extra hundred people are going to be employed in these in these uh, retail outlets throughout the country, uh, and that's to be admired. And those young people who are going to who are going to have those jobs are um, are are going to have a sense of dignity, a sense of commitment uh, of what they want to do and uh, career opportunities for themselves. So, in in that sense, I think it's important to note that 
Uh, in 2012, there's over 500 million allocated for research and uh, research and development agendas, which includes this kind of area here, where Enterprise Ireland have been so important uh, in the work that they do with companies like Carrick Dunn, and that's going to continue. I know that the company have been involved with them for quite some time. Uh, clearly, there's a, a commitment on the broader front. While you don't have money for everything, there's a 17 billion euro program in Capital Works here over the next uh, over the next four and a half years. Um, while you've had to defer some projects, ones that are considered a priority, get the go ahead. Now, the, like be clear on this, um, as somebody from this county myself, uh, I really, uh, we really are committed to driving to driving a jobs agenda. Um, and I think if you, you know, if you if you had a system, you could envisage where every company in the country even employed just one person. Think of the impact on on the life wages that that would have, and also on on, on the uh, on national morale. So, what we've tried to do in the in the in the recent budget uh, is not only to flag what's going to happen in the future, where the minister for jobs is going to set out the first jobs agenda for government, backed by the uh, facility from. Um, uh, from government of microfinance uh, funding for small companies uh, and credit loan guarantees, uh, partial credit loan guarantees uh, for companies that are having difficulties with banks. And in that sense, I note the uh, statistics this morning. Uh, lending policy is of critical importance. I like to think that despite all that's gone on, and a lot has gone on, that people understand in this country that you need a banking system that people can respect, that people can trust, and, the people, and that works in the nation's interest in terms of our economy. It is the lifeblood of the economy to have a functioning, practical, credible banking system. Uh, government will call in the banks in January uh, to discuss the, uh, the bank's um, uh, lending strategy, uh, their capacity to actually prove uh, that their lending targets will be measured up to and will be delivered on. This year, both Bank of Ireland and AIB were to, were to uh, have 3 billion extra in credit lending for 2011, 3.5 billion each for 2012, and 4 billion in 2013. And it is important that these issues that I hear about out there, about making it very difficult for, uh, for companies and for retailers and so on, uh, to be able to acquire credit um, is an issue that needs to be addressed. I'm not suggesting for a moment that we should go back to what we had before, uh, where there wasn't any uh, scale or, or, or uh, restriction upon lending in a whole range of areas. Uh, obviously, lending has to be under certain criteria, and I think that's important. Um, so, uh, as, on top of that, uh, government are now going to introduce a 20, a 20 million euro labour activation, uh, labour activation fund. And by that I mean, I see so many people who have such talent and such expertise and such, such a want to actually go to work, but because of economic circumstances, they find that what they were doing is no longer available to them. Uh, and these are people who government have got to respond to in terms of opportunities that exist for them. And, and as I say, uh, all of that is the real challenge uh, for government uh, for, the, for, the, for the period ahead. Um, so I'd just like to say to, uh, to Pat and, uh, and, and, and Vincent, and of course I, I can't forget Olive, because she says that to me every time. Um, <laughs> I'd like to compliment the workforce here, Pat, uh, some of whom have worked for 32 years, uh, and, uh, and from that down, uh, for the quality of what they do, for the energy I feel coming off the work floor, and that people are happy at the job they're doing, they're all skilled jobs, uh, they, they have a, a pride in the quality of the product that they produce. Uh, that if it's, if it's being worn in the White House or it's being worn across the states, that it's an issue that's not going to, that's not going to, to uh, be flawed in any respect. So uh, it's a good day for, for Westport here. We've taken on 57 of the 150. Over the next, um, over the next uh, 12 months, the 93 extra will be employed in the, in the retail shops around the country, and I want to wish everybody a success <coughs> in that. I note the President of the County Manager, Peter Hines. I'm quite sure that companies like Carrick Dunn uh, who need assistance from the local authority are going to get every facility uh, from you as manager because every job is a pathway to prosperity and every job created is a day further away from recession and a day nearer the, um, the point where we can get back into the markets ourselves and decide as a country what it is that we want to do for the future. Um, so despite the rain outside, pleasure to be here in Carrick Dunn.
great day for, for Kyle Dunn, for the Hughes's, continuation of a very long family tradition. Maybe not always on my particular side of the political <laughs> 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 I think there's some moving over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say too much more about that. Much more All the important. women are. <laughs> <laughs> What's much more important here is the fact that they've got a, a committed workforce with a high quality uh, brand of product uh, which is making serious progress and I commend everybody associated with it and thank you for the opportunity.